online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. A 10-year-old girl faces animal cruelty charges after the death of an Oregon dog. It's a unique situation for the juvenile justice system. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. It is a story you saw first here on Fox Toledo. A chihuahua died days after a little girl allegedly held that dog underwater. Fox Toledo's Heather Miller is live to explain how the legal system's handling a suspect so young. Well, the juvenile prosecutor tells me they get very few kids as young as 10 that enter the justice system. But this alleged crime is being handled by the Oregon Police Department, and criminal charges have been filed, so something will be done. Many of our viewers weighed in on this story on Facebook. Many calling for help for the child who allegedly harmed an animal. Cruelty to animals is always something, kind of a item that makes people wonder what could possibly be going on with that child's life. That's what the juvenile justice system aims to find out. Assistant Lucas County Prosecutor Lori Olander oversees juvenile cases. She says, like most cases involving young children, a letter was sent to the alleged animal abuser's family telling the girl to stay away from the alleged victims. That wasn't obeyed, and that's when charges were filed. They can make a case what's called unofficial, all right? Because this is a 10-year-old, and juvenile court is about rehabilitation. The prosecutor says most young children go this unofficial route and are put into the appropriate counseling and rehabilitation courses instead of going to court. It's the kids' version of a diversion program. This is the time where you're not getting any more trouble for what you did. There's not going to be more charges filed, but let's get the whole picture of this kid. And then they can set her up with services without making it um, an official case. Now, in Ohio, anyone under 10 is not even considered competent for court. Now, besides that, though, prosecutors believe that a 10-year-old offender will get much more out of counseling than being locked up. And even though it's considered an unofficial record, it will be noted and followed by prosecutors in case the kid has any more run-ins with the juvenile justice system. Reporting live tonight, Heather Miller, Fox Toledo News. All right, thank you, Heather.